Whenever she walks into the room, the, it just lights up. Kaylee has a big personality, very outgoing person. Not shy. Definitely is not shy. Uh, very outgoing. Happy and bubbly. She's really funny. Loves attention and loves to be the center of attention and make everybody laugh, but she always puts everyone before herself. Her personality is amazing. One of Kaylee's nicknames is K Millie. She introduces herself as, Hi, I'm K Millie. Yo, yo, yo. Kaylee's grounded all the time, but it's normally for good reasons. After we would have these incidents, there's nothing that she ever did that was worse than anything that me, me or Wendy did. She one time offered to sneak out to help someone find their dog. Instead of go out and see friends, she wanted to help someone find their dog. Charlie, come here. Charlie. Charlie. <laughs> When Kaylee first started driving, she was super excited about it, and I think she was more excited about the selfies that she took in the car, um, showing people that she was driving sometimes more than the actual driving. And um, she was a great driver until it was time to park, and she really struggled with parking. So we went to Bath and Body Works one day. And Kaylee drove, and we told her just to let us out real quick. A few minutes went by, they never showed up. Kaylee comes in and she said, Mom, you're supposed to come outside. I can't park this car. And she was, you know, half in the parking spot and half, you know, in the aisle. Well, part of my driver's ed, Mom, is being able to handle distractions. So I guess we're working on that right now. Right. Mom, I have to actually log that, that I practiced with the distraction. Kaylee's been good at makeup ever since like middle school whenever I was just wearing blush and mascara. We spent a lot of money on her makeup. I actually finally had to say, look, you're working now. You need to spend your own money on makeup. When Logan was born, she she couldn't wait to be a big sister. I want to make it. Too bad. She would just ask me to do the makeup. Sometimes I would say no, and sometimes I would say yes. Do you like it? No. Logan adores Kaylee. Kaylee and Logan would have their moments. They liked doing these little videos. With Kaylee being so involved in her faith, she was able to do mission trips. We did a mission trip to Colorado. That's when our bond together grew even stronger and our faith in God grew stronger and stronger. Kaylee's a really good student. She makes straight A's, she's honor roll. Very uh, into her schoolwork and very into the into the community. At Klein Collins, they have this special buddies program that she was very passionate about and she spent a lot of time with her buddy that she made through school. Kaylee played volleyball from when she was young to all the way in high school. I played with her in the seventh and eighth grade and she has an amazing work ethic. Kaylee always lifts me up whenever I'm sad. She's very good at making people laugh. Kaylee is the most helpful teenager that I've had the pleasure of meeting. Kaylee really is uh, a seeker of truth. It's not as often as you get a person who's that adamant, that young, to uh, get, the, get the deep answers um, now at this point in her life. On October 28th, uh, 2017, uh, Wendy and I uh, were here at the house. We were we were getting ready for a, a Halloween party. She and a friend were at the house getting ready while we were getting ready, and she helped me like curl my hair and do my makeup. And we left before they did. We get over there to the party, and Wendy gets a phone call that the girls had been in a car accident. And just sheer panic. <laughs> came over me, but I was trying not to think the worst. 
So I ran inside and I told David, we need to go. Kaylee's been in an accident. And I looked to see where she was on her 360 app and it was right in front of our neighborhood. It was dark and it was just nothing but flashing lights, fire trucks and ambulance and police cars. We saw a car flipped upside down. It was dark and it was a black car, which is what she had. At that, at that moment, we knew it, it was a, a minor accident. You know, we got out of the car and we started running. The fire department stopped us and said we couldn't go over there. The fireman that was on the scene broke the news to me that she had died. And, uh, and I just collapsed and, and started screaming. All I remember saying is, it's not real, it's not real. Well, they wouldn't let us go to her. And I really wanted to, but I know she was already gone. But it's that feeling of not being able to tell her goodbye, or hold her hand, tell her it's okay that I love you. It wasn't until later that we were told that Kaylee wasn't the driver. She was in the car with three other teenagers but Kaylee is, was the only one that wasn't wearing her seatbelt. We were just uh, confused and, and we, we thought maybe this is a mistake. Uh, maybe they got it wrong. Maybe, the, maybe it was somebody else. Maybe she's okay. Not long after that, the police officer came to, to deliver her personal belongings and her, uh, you know, her purse and her phone, and that's when it really, uh, really hit home that she was gone. When they told us that she didn't have her seatbelt on, we knew that if she had her seatbelt on, she would still be here today. She touched a lot of people's lives. She was a leader. Everybody loved to be around her, the type of person that would just light up your day. And her death has, has really opened a lot of people's eyes of how important it is to, to buckle your seatbelt. You know, it's very difficult to find anything positive that comes out of losing a child. I've had a lot of people tell me that they never, they never wore their seatbelts before and now they always wear their seatbelts. I know she would be proud of us. And we want her to be proud of us. We're very proud of her. She was gonna do great things and she still is doing great things. We wake up every morning and we relive the accident, we, ha we have to remind ourselves every morning when we wake up that she's gone. It's such a preventable and simple thing, you know, to buckle your seatbelt. And, and I think that's, that's one of the things that stings the most. You know, we're never gonna get to see her grow up or graduate high school or, or go to prom, see her get married or, or give us a grandbaby or, or any of the million memories that, that we're not gonna get to make with her. She would have had a big impact on the world if she, if she would have made it out of that accident. So we're gonna continue to spread the message of the importance on wearing seat belts and, and hope that, um, you know, if it just saves one life, then it's worth it. You are 20 times more likely to be killed if you are ejected from a vehicle. Car accidents are the leading cause of death of people ages 1 to 54, and teens are three times more likely to die than any other age group. If you are ejected from a vehicle during a crash, you have a 50-50 chance of the car landing on top of you. In just one year, more Americans die from not wearing their seatbelt than 17 years of war on terrorism combined. Teens have the highest rate of non-seatbelt users in the United States. And are three times more likely to die in car accidents than all other age groups. 27 million people in the United States admit that they do not wear their seatbelts. You are 30 times more likely to be ejected from the car if not wearing your seatbelt, and three out of four of those people do not survive. Nearly 1.3 million people are killed in car crashes each year, and over 750,000 of those were not wearing seatbelts. It only takes three seconds to buckle your seatbelt, so please buckle up for Kaylee. 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 Buckle up. Buckle up. Buckle up for Kaylee. Buckle up for Kaylee.